Welcome back guys. You're about to witness one of the most spectacular days out diving in the bluest water that I've ever seen. And to think I almost missed out on this dive because of uni. But anyone who knows me knows spearfishing always comes first. So this day I was diving out of Todd's boat and the plan was to go chase southern bluefin tuna which is one of my favourite fish to eat. The day started the boat ramp where we got everything sorted and then head out in some beautiful conditions. <laughs> After a couple hours of searching, we finally located the school of tuna. Any comments? <laughs> so Todd and I hopped in first to suss it out. Thank you. We were greeted by some amazing visibility, the clearest I've ever seen. Todd was straight onto it and shot a nice one from the surface. You want a second shot, Todd? Are you good? After first checking to see if it was alright and getting the thumbs up, I could now focus on shooting one myself. So I dived down into the blue and slowly the tuna started to materialise. I could see my shot wasn't the best, so good old Ali jumped in with no waiver on and came to the rescue with a second shot, securing the fish. When hunting bigger fish, it's always crucial to know where your line is and to always try and stay clear of it, as the last thing you want is to get tangled and dragged down. Tuna is one of the best eating fish in the ocean and it's so important to dispatch and bleed it as soon as possible. Not just because it's an ethical thing to do, but also to maximise its eating quality. There's not a relocated just behind their pectoral fin that you can sever, which will help bleed it out. I know it looks gruesome, but like I said, by doing this, it will ensure that the tuna meat stays in optimal condition for eating, which is one of the main reasons why we do this, for food. We go through all this effort, so of course we want it to taste as nice as possible. Next up, it was Jack and Ali's turn, and after some more searching, we found a school again. So they jumped in, and Jack was straight to work. The, other one. Success. the conditions were really beginning to glass out, and all that was left was for Ali to land one. Ready, Ali? Ready. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. How do you feel? Not too bad. <laughs> Not Not too bad. bad now that we all had a fish and were happy, it was time to get some footage of the tuna, since they were literally everywhere, and in schools the size of a football oval. The footage seriously doesn't give it justice to how many there really were. This was honestly such a magical day and I'm so glad I skipped uni to come. Best decision ever. Anyway, at this point I thought I was done for the day until Todd tied me down and forced me to shoot another tuna. And I got it all on video too. You wanna get in it? Yeah, I'll get in just the filming stuff. But yeah, you and Jack go for it. Do you wanna go for it? Nah, nah, you go for it. A few moments later. Oh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm alright though. One fish is good for me. Yeah, well, chance.
stop him riding on them. Mask almost came off. No. We had our boat level six now, so to start the end of the day with a bit of fishing. Oh, oh, oh. Doesn't even look excited. <laughs> This is cheating. This yeah. Is cheating. <laughs> yeah. 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 I got a whole. Come on, keep moving, Ryan. Nah, 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 nah. 